Hi, I'm Jason Franchuk, sports reporter for the Daily Herald. I'm here at the Marriott Center on Saturday evening where BYU did what it had to do. It pulled out a 63-50 win against rival Utah. Cougars needed this to stay in the conference title hunt. They're still a game back, but this was a good first start for them. Neither team shot very well, but BYU still improved to 22 and 6 overall, 10 and 4 in conference. Utah is 20 and 8, still a game ahead, 11 and 3 with one week and two games remaining in the regular season. BYU pulled this out the old-fashioned gritty way. Jimmer Fredette had 25 points. He was 8 of 16 shooting from the field. BYU trailed 36-34 early in the second half when the Cougars went on their big run. They played a little bit of zone defense just like it worked against San Diego State. They forced some turnovers. They forced Utah into some lousy shooting, and the crowd really got into this game, and for good reason. The Cougars went on an 18-4 run that pretty much sealed the deal here. Chris Miles had 13 points at center for BYU. You can't say enough about the type of game he played. He made five of his six free throws. He was effective at both ends of the floor, namely in shutting down or very much limiting Utah center Luke Neville. That didn't happen the last game. Neville had 32 points. That was a career high in the last meeting a month ago. This time, Neville only goes 3 of 12 for the field. He has nine points. He missed all five shots he took in the second half. Jimmer Fredette had a big game. Jonathan Tavernari had a quiet game. He was held scoreless in the second half. Didn't even take a shot in the second half as Sean Green limited him. But Jimmer Fredette came through. Dave Rose really liked it how, even though Utah's defense did some things to limit players like Tavernari and Kamar, especially in the first half, other players like Fredette and Miles stepped through. In the last three or four wins, we've played, uh, we've won games a little bit different than we kind of got into a, um, kind of a pattern earlier in the year where we relied on certain guys to do certain things and now we're finding new ways to win. Dave Rose really likes how this team is growing up and maturing right in front of his eyes as we head into the key stretch right now. Utah is at New Mexico on Tuesday. That's a big game. BYU is at Wyoming on Wednesday. The conference title, at least a share of it for the Cougars, is still up for grabs going into the last week here. I'm Jason Franchuk. Thanks for tuning in to Daily Herald TV.